almost everybody who is treating CLL with ibrutinib right now is very um, comfortable with this peripheral lymphocytosis. And so we think that this is happening because ibrutinib disrupts the um, homing signals and it disrupt, disrupts adhesion factors on the CLL cells. So these cells that initially would be kind of stuck in their microenvironment in the lymph nodes, spleen, potentially bone marrow, and other niches are, um, as soon as you give the ibrutinib and all those homing signals and the adhesion signals go away, those cells then are free to kind of just go out into the peripheral circulation. I think it's important um, for everybody to realize, though, that that is something that always happens with ibrutinib and CLL, and even in some patients with mantle cell lymphoma, and it does not at all predict patients who are going to relapse. It's not a sign of relapse. And in fact, a lot of the um, international CLL groups are, are revising some of their um, some of the criteria to say, look, this this is not a symptom of progression, so that when people who are not as familiar with ibrutinib or um, uh, PI3 kinase delta inhibitors or other B-cell receptor pathway inhibitors are treating their patients, they're not concerned about this as a sign of progression.